Well, everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new documentary, Have You Got It Yet? The Story of Sid Barrett and Pink Floyd. And this is from directors Roddy Bogawa and Storm Thurgensen. And this focuses on the story of Sid Barrett, who was the mastermind and creative force that first created Pink Floyd and his slow outing from the band and how he lived on parallel to their success. And this tragic story is portrayed so tenderly and so maturely in this documentary. Now, from a structure perspective, it is a beat for beat. We go through the history of this band. We see Sid Barrett as a child and his family, and do we hear from them and the dynamics that he had as a kid and growing up into an adult with the loved ones around him and with his bandmates who they're still able to talk to Nick Mason and David Gilmour and Roger Water and and Roger Waters and <clears throat> this group is one of the most influential influential progressive rock bands in the history of music. They revolutionized what music could be. And this film captures that distinction really well in the way that they showed their music, especially under Sid Barrett, because even like Pink Floyd after Barrett left was so out there compared to everything else that you were listening to at the time. But really under Barrett, this was revolutionary. It was different. It was so strange and out there. Now, I'm not a huge fan of like the Sid Barrett era of Pink Floyd. It's not the kind of me like... I really prefer once David Gilmore took over and Roger Waters took on a much bigger role too. But it is fascinating and ethereal and atmospheric in everything that he's able to do in terms of his music. But this story is so tragic because you see such a talent just get washed away with drugs and his lifestyle and you see this fissure that grows between him and his bandmates and what's so profound is these older men his former bandmates processing how they dealt with it and how life had processed sins and it took of course Roger Waters to take this very philosophically and deeply about how it's so interesting taking a look back at this when memories are constructs in our own minds and how this can't possibly be the true story after all these years. Who knows exactly how this went and processed? And that gives us some like existential layers to a documentary that I did not expect. I expected, you know, your straightforward rock doc, and I love a rock doc. This dug a little bit deeper in ways in terms of the philosophy and the perspective that it has on the world and that added the needed layers to elevate this you know beat for beat journey through the career of Sid Barrett and his parallel success to once he left Pink Floyd and every time like the music just hit so differently watching this documentary especially shine on you crazy diamond just felt so emotional after all the setup of sid barrett and his relationship with pink floyd this is a pretty impactful and moving documentary that lifts itself above just being your regular old rock doc and delivering some extra oomph to it that will make this a memorable experience but those are my thoughts on have you got it yet? The Sid Barrett, uh, the story of Sid Barrett and Pink Floyd. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in, and supporting your Wasteland reviewer.